My name is Chris Joran. I'm an application engineer with TriMex Solutions out of the Knoxville, Tennessee office. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about display customization. You may have seen in some of my other videos, sometimes my background is a little bit darker. Uh, my icons are a different color. So we'll talk about why that is and uh, why I use that. So this is uh, right out of the box. SolidWorks has this nice light background with the blue and white icons. So all of these color options are going to be under Options, and then Colors. So back around 2015, they changed to this blue and white icon color. If you uh, were using SolidWorks before then, you remember it was a yellow and green color. So after a lot of outcry from the community, they immediately added in this option to go to your classic colors. For the background, it says to use medium light, and that closely resembles what we would see back in say 2012 or, or so and this is what I'm comfortable with it's what I learned on so I kind of like this look here you can also go quite a bit darker and for me when I'm especially working at night using a really dark background kind of helps my eyes a little bit it kind of uh, relieves a little bit of eye stress so that's kind of up to you if you feel that way. The next thing we'll look at is the actual background itself. So right now we're using the document scene background. So this is whatever we've applied to this document and saved in the template. By default, it's going to be this three-point faded, kind of blue and white cloudy look. We can also change it to just plain. And we see here the viewport background color. So we can edit that. Right now it's a gray. I don't know. Let's just grab a color. So we could change it to some kind of crazy color. Hurts your brain a little bit there. To soften that up, there is the option to use the gradient. where it will start out lighter at the bottom and get darker at the top. And you can also use an image file. So there's some images, like this TriMac logo, that I feel would be a really good background. Unfortunately, they don't always get brought in very well. So to show this as an example, and this is uh, the top gradient and bottom gradient for that gradient background color. So if I were to bring in an image file and bring in that TriMac file, I'm going to see what it looks like. It does not look great. I don't know that I can model on that very well. Other images, especially repeatable like background images that you would use for your desktop background, those are really what you want to look for. Nothing that's going to get stretched or distorted. So as an Air Force vet, Occasionally, I will switch this up and model with the old camo I used to wear. That's a lie. I never do that. But it would be really cool. And I might start now. So the next thing um, to look at is changing colors on pretty much everything else in SolidWorks. That orange highlight as I hover over things. We can change all of these things. But one of the easiest ways to kind of look at this is inside of a drawing. You can see that background gets carried over. So under colors here, we have drawings. We have our drawings background. We have our drawings paper color. And you can see that matches this kind of off-white color that we use for the paper. And you can edit that. So if you want to soften it a little or just go all the way to white and actually use a white paper color for your drawings. So anything, not anything, but I would say 99% of things inside of SolidWorks that are selectable, you know, the color that things highlight, that orange color, um, our different selections, you know, select a few different faces for a certain mate, and they all highlight in different colors. We can change all of those in that menu there. So this has been a brief discussion about display customization. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the blog post accompanied uh, or reach out to us at 888 TriMac. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching.